on this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. Bob heads to Lake Watry in South Carolina for some late fall striper fishing. Joining Bob will be guide Craig Price from Fish on Guide Service. Plus on this week's Sportsman's Table, we feature another South Carolina certified recipe from Deck 383 in Merle's Inlet. All this and a whole lot more, and it begins right now. We shot this hard. Look at that. Wow, let me hold that thing. Nice. Welcome to our show this week. I tell you what, it's no joke, okay? It's November. We are in South Carolina on Lake Wateree. Haven't fished down here in, well, forever. And I gotta tell you, my good friend Craig Price with Fish On, he has brought us down here to catch some stripe. And I will tell you, you know, Craig, you know the odd thing about it? Look at there, huh? Look at that thing, all right. Mm, nice one, nice one. You know, one of the great things that folks really enjoy is fishing in the fog. <laughs> what? <laughs> they, they'd be really happy this morning. <laughs> <laughs> folks, we left the house about five o'clock this morning. Craig wanted to get a, an early start, okay? You know these fishing guides, it's their early bite, always, okay? And we have been motoring in this fog this morning. I got you really kind of enjoying the trip about 37 degrees when we started out mm. oh that's we're good right here look here come here come here come here come here i got you okay 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 i'm just gonna let you go i'm just gonna let you go you're just gonna get let go okay all right oh man Boy, what do you yeah, think? It's a start. Yes, sir, it is. All right. Mm -hmm. Man, I'll tell you what. You know, these, uh, the, the stripe down here have been running here, what, for about a month? Yep. yep. Yeah. And, and really, the fishing, do you want to let him go? Yeah. Yeah, let's just let him go. Let somebody else catch him. Get in there, buddy. Get on in there. All right. Um, they've been running well over a month down here schooling up so uh I, I have to tell you you know watery is a beautiful fishery it really is actually and you know where there was one there got to be a lot more okay when you can see it it's beautiful yeah. <laughs> when you can see it well I, you know i'm just kind of glad that the sun's coming out and warming us up just a tad because uh it's been a little bit brisk <laughs> ah, fish on, Craig, fish on, brother. Hey, man, oh, man. Ah. Mm, 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 mm. Well, the fog's hopefully getting out of here. And you know, as I always say, hope is never a method. But this morning, that's the best that we could do. I tell you what, you talk about soup sandwich. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, oh. Hopefully they couldn't see any better than <laughs> I don't know. Mm. That's a better fish. Oh, that is? Net. No, sir. We don't have nets on this boat. No, no sir. Uh -uh. Yeah, I think, I think I can get him. Hang on here. Oh, yeah, that is a little better fish. <laughs> Come here, Hummer. I'll tell you what, you hold the rod, and I'll do the, I'll do the honors. Come here. 
Come on. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, just hold on. I know. I want to get you up here and show you off, and then we're just going to let you go. Yeah, we're just going to let you go. Hang on. We're just going to let you go. Oh, yeah. Nice fat striper right there now. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah. Watery South Carolina, folks, right here. Mm. Water temperature about 58, I guess. That's what it's looking at. All right, we'll let you go. All right, boom. All right, man, let me get that one rod out the way. <laughs> this is yours. All right, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> get him, get him, get him. Mm. I was just getting ready to run us a I know you were. planer board out there. Oh boy, I tell you what, you know, the good thing is, with it being cold like this, the bait, the bait's strong today. Yeah, yeah. You know? That makes it nice. I think, well, nope, he just came at me. You get him? Do yeah, I need right. to get them other ones out the way? Well, let me see here. How many pulls Come you pull with these things? Is that the free line? Yeah, I'm putting about 25, 30 pulls on Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah. Way out there. Get it on back. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Whoa. Oh. Come here, Junior. Oh. Okay. Yep, you're getting it. Down. Let's see if I can keep from sticking the hook in my hand. Alright, get him. Usually when Here, I, I got the rod. Usually when I get on TV, I usually do at least one dumb thing. <laughs> well, not today. Every time. Man, the, the fog just cleared. I mean, you know. Maybe that was my dumb thing for the day. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I tell you what, you're doing good, bro. You're doing good. Mm -hmm. Now look, take just a second here. Tell everybody about your guide service, okay? Because now, folks, you've seen Craig on the show over the last several years he's a guide out of north carolina and we fish a good bit uh up there with him but he also brings his clients down here to south carolina to lake murray lake watery well i'll let you tell them the rest okay? yeah that's right i mean really watery is a continuation of the catawba river which i live on up at lake norman and uh technically it is the watery river down here but it all flows into santee cooper and um they're just, you know, nutrient rich, bait rich lakes and they, they grow a lot of stripers down here and my, my customers enjoy coming down, fishing somewhere different and got a much higher uh, creel down here so if they're inclined they can put meat in the boat and if not, then we catch a lot of fish and release them and catch them again the next time. But we love having you guys down here, okay? And I tell you what, Enjoy. I really like this because I'm only 30 minutes from my house. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. All right, let's get it back in the water. Let's do it. <laughs> Stay tuned. When we come back, more striper fishing from Lake Watry. We got another one, buddy. Cool. Planer board, Bob. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Leon? I think so. I don't know if that board released, so I'll have to get it. That's loose. okay. Let's stop breathing. Let me get up there. All right. There we go. Reel down on it. All right. Let's see. Stay on. I think he did. Yeah. You know, he wasn't one of the bigger ones we've caught today, but that's okay. Yeah, you know, now that the fog is cleared. Hmm. All right, we're gonna let you just gonna take well, your picture. Oh, got another one on. Right All right, here. get him, get him, Mo, right, get him. Came off. Oh no! He broke. He broke the line. Did he break? Oh my goodness! That could have been the horse we were looking for. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's the guy's fault. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think so, Bo. I don't think so. Now that ain't a picture. Now, he wanted, oh, look at go. that, he wanted that gizzard shed big time, huh? He wasn't big, gosh, that gizzard shed almost as big as he was. Look at that, folks. Yeah, there's there. some fish right here. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, there are. 
Get on back in there, and I'll just even let you have the gizzard shed. All right. Ah. Mm. There we go. Woohoo! You know, folks, I got to tell you um, about what we're fishing with today, and I'm going to leave this one in here. This is the Shakespeare Ugly Stick Striper Rod, matched with the Striper Special uh, Reel from Abu Garcia. Now I've got it wound with 20 pound Berkeley braid and this is just a great combination. I tell you what, I'll take it out of here just gingerly, but this is a great rod for doing exactly what we're doing today, okay? From the good folks at Pure Fishing, Abu Garcia, the Striper Special, and the Ugly Stick Striper right here. I tell you what, these are just awesome combination. Okay, hi, right, Craig. Well, I don't know if... Yeah. We'll see those fish again, but it's certainly <laughs> worth circling around here. Yeah, plus they've been kind of up towards the top today. Yeah, too. yeah. You know? you know, that's one interesting thing about down here and even some of the other South Carolina lakes is, you know, we're out in the middle of a river channel, but it's still only 30 feet deep. Yeah, I so know. Those, those fish will feed up in the upper part of the water column, even under bright conditions. All right, Craig, fish on. Oh, oh, we finally got oh, one on that down rod. Oh, that down rod, yeah, man. Maybe, oh. oh, just had another bite. On that in striper here. special? Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah, that was a good little pot of fish right here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, another Yeah. Good. Let me get him. There you go. You want to get, let me back up a bit. That's good. Okay. Come here, buddy. Oh. He's ready to hot rod. Okay. Easy. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I tell you, it's just been kind of this side and then this side, you know. Now, we're lightly trolling here today, folks. I mean, I'm moving. I got the trolling motor set on about five. Light and variable wind, really, you know, the conditions are, are just right other than when we started early this morning there yeah man go. yeah other Pretty than when fish. we started this morning gosh it was foggy you couldn't even see two feet in front of yourself you know but um yeah i guess we do it again that. yeah let's get it rebated man you know it's just um and these these are good quality fish when you think about it craig i'll take them yeah man and all day long huh you know, I'm so glad you talked me into coming fishing today. You know that? <laughs> well, it's good to have options, you know. I, I, always good to have options, you know. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Planer board on the left and planer board on the right. Drifters in the back and down rods in the front. Mm. You know, because we originally talked about going smallmouth fishing. I know. And we're going to do that. And we are going to do that, okay, I can tell you on a later episode. We're gonna head up to Lake Lure, Lake James. Uh, this guy's gonna put us on some smallmouth up in North Carolina, so. You just like Paul, though. <laughs> you do it all, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's fun to break up the monotony of doing the same thing on the same lake all the time, oh, yeah. you know? Yeah, well, you know, one of the great things, uh, you know, I get a chance to, of course, be in destination is our thing every week. We get the chance to meet up with so many guides, and I, and I have to say that on camera, one of the big true testaments of what our viewers watch is guides, and they watch their body language, and it's one of those questions, can I fish with that guy on that boat all day long? And you're one of those special guys, okay? You just have a great demeanor, you're very patient, okay? Whether it's, it's uh, they wanna bring their wives, they wanna bring their kids, whatever, they're bass fishermen, okay? If they're bass holes, huh? Man, you're leaving fish them too, so. <laughs> just go to Bob's Top 16 and you'll find fish on guide service right there. Contact Craig and come on, I tell you what, there's no telling where you, he's gonna take you fishing, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Coming up next, we head to Deck 383 in Merle's Inlet for another great South Carolina certified recipe. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. 
Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Folks, welcome to this week's edition of the Sportsman's Table. We're here at Deck 383 on the beautiful Waccamaw River, right in Merle's Inlet. And joining me today is my guest chef, is Tom Mullally. He is, well, I tell you what, he is a chef instructor, a good friend of our shows, and he always produces a great recipe. And right here at Deck 383, my hey, friend. Bob, how are you, sir? Well, welcome back. Okay, Thank what you do you very got much. for us this week? A little fresh local uh, Berkshire pork. We're going to go with pork tenderloin today, the Cadillac of the cut of meats on the pig. Oh, okay. And as you know, a chef have a deep respect for the pig. Oh, yeah. We're in the south. You got a good little pig in your diet. You know how that runs. I know. So no bland food allowed. We're going to lightly season it with some salt and pepper. Mm, yeah. And again, this is pork tenderloin. Very tasty. Now, you know, Tom, I have to ask you, is this something I know you do strand catering? You do yep. catering all around Myrtle Beach. I do, I do. Is this kind of a staple dish that folks like? Yeah, this is extremely popular for sure. And again, it's the best cut of, of the pork. So it's always uh, popular. It goes well with many different items. You can change your starch up, as you know. You could have roasted potatoes, rice, risotto, whatever your uh, cravings happen to be that day. But always fresh and local. That's how we roll. There you go. How long are we going to cook this for? We're going to sear all sides. Um, it's probably going to take about two to three minutes to sear all sides, and then after that, uh, since it's a little thicker cut, we're going to finish it off in the oven, and then we'll be ready to plate it up. Great. You want to get that nice uh, golden dark brown in there. By searing meat, it holds in the juices. It acts as an insulation so that the uh, meat stays nice and tender for us. Okay, Bob, it looks like it's ready to go. Let's start plating. Mmm, man. Pork tenderloin, I tell you, you know, a great cut of that. Of course, you, you just know just how to cut it, too. I do. I like going at, the, at an angle like this on a slight bias. It makes it a little bit easier to fan it. And me, personally, I don't want my pork uh, well done, but then again, we don't want to have it mid-rare as well. So I, I kind of like a little pink in my pork, uh, like medium to mid-well, so it's not dried. And uh, this is uh, some uh, local rice. We're big on rice here in the south, and I uh, chopped a little fresh basil in there. Oh, wow. And now we're going to fan our pork tenderloin. Mm. And again, you can see just a little pink in there. It's a nice medium. That's uh, definitely the way that I like it, so it stays nice and moist, not dry. And as you can see, Bob, the plate is starting to come alive. We've got fresh uh, roasted red and yellow bell peppers, a little broccoli, perchini mushrooms, and naturally the uh, vegetable. That's a little bit of a personal preference. You could change things up along the way, whatever uh, tickles your fancy, so to speak. Mm. But it's really coming alive, and again, the uh, color of the uh, vegetables, I feel, just really add to it. They uh, eat with the eyes first, as you know, so we want to uh, have a nice, beautiful plate presentation. And this is a little red wine sauce. It's going to go real nice. We're going to drizzle that right behind the pork. And as you can tell, the uh, plate starts to come alive, and that's our finished product. And that's why you're a chef, huh? That's it. That's it. Tom, thanks again for a great menu. Thank uh, you, Bob. You know, I tell you, it's, it's always awesome, okay, when you're talking about certified SE grown, okay? And, folks, you want some great items on the menu? You come on down to Waccamaw River right here at Deck 383. They got all the great things cooking right here for you, as well as all of the great certified SE grown produce that you can find all across the South and South Carolina. Well, remember, log on to certifiedsegrown.com and see what's fresh on your menu. And we'll be right back here again next week with another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy certified South Carolina grown products. It's a matter of taste. Fish on, fish Craig, on. fish on, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I tell you what, we've been having planer boards on both sides now. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. Well, man, we'll take them any way we can get them here. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, come on up here. Ah. <laughs> well, Craig, I have to ask you, if folks want to come fishing with you, now I can tell you, folks, log on to bobredfern.com, go to Bob's Top 16, you're going to find Craig and his guide service on there. But Craig, if they want to get a hold of you, tell them how they can do that. It's Fish on Guide Services, Denver, North Carolina, uh, fishonguideservices.com. Woohoo! 704-996-0946. I'm telling you. Let me get that board loose. I thought he'd Okay. Well, 
No, he oh, didn't. That might be a better fish. <laughs> He's not bad. He's he, he yeah. to adjust the tension on yeah, the Yeah, he is not bad, my friend. Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And as I get this thing up here, and folks, I'll have to tell you, you know, as I always like to tell you every week, the outdoors is truly my passion. I want it to be yours too. And as soon as I get this, oh yeah, nice fish. Mm. Oh, I thought he'd pull it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it jerk up. Yeah, he was done. look at that. Mm. Mm -mm. Easy, Jim. That's what I'm talking about. Gosh. Easy, Jim. Although we're releasing these things, okay, these make some nice eaters. Oh, yes. You know? This is a good eating size. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, get him up here, Bo. Get him up here. Oh, boy. Again, yeah. folks. Whoa. Uh, ha, uh, the transfer made it. Come on. The outdoors is our passion, fish. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> and fish it is today from Wateree, South Carolina. Craig Price and Fish on Guide Service. Folks, we'll see you next week on another episode of Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine. We got time for more, ain't we? No, why not? Okay, yeah. all right, well, come on. Ah Don't leave them biting.